Hi guys, so this week for my book I read A Splash of Red, The Life and Art of Horace Pippin. It's by Jen Bryant and the illustrator is Melissa Sweet. The publisher is Random House. The copyright date was 2013. It's a biography and there's about 40 pages. I would say the age range is probably five to eight years old. Um, for this story, it starts off telling us about when Horace was born in Westchester, Pennsylvania. He had to grow up fast because his family ultimately, when he was three, moved to New York and he had to help them out. But he was a giant. They talked about his big hands and how fast he was growing and that they didn't think he would stop growing. When the day was done, after all the hard work, after Horace was done helping his family, he loved to draw his experiences from that day. Whatever he saw, he wanted to draw and put on, on paper and form pictures of it. Horace made pictures for people he to make them happy and one day Horace even won a drawing contest earning him free art supplies these were the these were the first art supplies he had ever had and so it was a big moment for him when Horace was in the eighth grade though his father left and he was forced to leave school to support his family later several years later when the war broke out Horace joined the army and was shipped overseas anytime the fighting was lifted and the shooting and everything stopped for a little bit he would draw the people around him would ask him to draw and so he got enjoyment out of that but during the war he was ultimately injured he was shot in the shoulder area and he was left unable to draw after many years and many challenges in life Horace finally was able to draw again he was able to get build up that strength and allow himself to draw again his paintings were typically in black and white and there would be like a splash of red color in there. And ultimately he was discovered by a famous artist and he had his own show and people spent lots of money on his pictures and he was able to become famous and do what he loved all at the same time. And I think that's really great because a lot of times you see either people who are famous and maybe you're making poor life decisions or... I don't know, people aren't doing what they love. So I think that's great. The overall theme of this story deals with perseverance and I think that's something that is important for children to learn and understand. This book is a prime example of that. Horace faced obstacles throughout his life. First moving when he was so young and having to help his family and then his father left and he had to completely quit school and finally when he joined the army and got injured he thought that that was the end of drawing forever. What gave him love, what gave him like life and what made him love life. But he was able to find life in other things, like his wife. He met somebody who was perfect for him. And I so even when things weren't going his way, he still persevered and he still was positive about the outcome. And ultimately, he never gave up on the idea of drawing and that's how he was able to do it again. This book also teaches readers to observe the world around them. Horace was constantly drawing what he had observed in the world around him. We sometimes shoot children down for being too curious, but this book does the opposite. It encourages that curious, inquisitive nature, helping readers to reach their full potential. Because if somebody is curious and inquisitive and we are never willing to be open-minded to that, think of the creativity that we could be hindering. For the activity for this book, um, Horace always drew a world around him. And so what I would do is I would get my class art supplies whether it's colored pencils, crowns, whatever it is, and some paper, and each person gets a clipboard, and we take a walk around the area surrounding the school, kind of just all over the building on the outside, find stopping in areas along the way. And whenever a student found something that they thought was beautiful, I'd ask them to draw it. And everybody would stop at different times, and everybody would draw different things. But when we got back to the class, everybody would share what they observed beauty in, and that would show the different perspectives. And although you may not have found beauty in that, someone else did. And so it's just as important to us. Thanks.